Hi students, welcome to session 3 of Climate and Adaptation. Students, we are done through climate, uh, weather and climate, the introduction to weather and climate and we are through with the factors that affect the climate of the earth. In the previous session we discussed about the climate of earth as a whole and the factors affecting it like the distance from the sun and earth's tilt and we also discussed about sunrise and sunset. So students, do you remember that in the previous session we discussed about one more thing that the weather reports are prepared by the meteorological department of the government and this department collects data on various factors like temperature, wind, etc. and makes the weather prediction. So students, meteorologists record the weather every day and the records of the weather have been preserved for the past several decades and these help us to determine the weather pattern at a place. So the average weather pattern taken over among time, say 25 years, is called the climate of the place. So if we find that temperature at a place is high most of the time then we can say that the climate of that place is hot and if there is also heavy rainfall on the most of the days in the same place then we can say that the climate of that place is hot and wet. So now let us discuss about this climate of the place in detail. Yes students, now let us study about climate of a place. Now students, on the earth the climate of a place depends on many factors such as distance from the equator which is also called as latitude and height above the sea level distance from the sea and mountains and so on. So there are many such factors from which we can depict the climate of the place. And that is why we say that the climate of a place depends on such factors like distance from the equator, shortly termed as latitude, height above sea level, distance from the sea and mountains and so on. So first let us discuss about the equator from sorry distance from the equator that is latitude. Now students places which are closer to the equator are warmer than the places closer to the poles. It's very understandable. For example it is much warmer in India on an average not taking into account some exceptions like the higher reaches on, of the Himalayas. So if we take an example that when it is much warmer in India then there will be some sometimes it will be cooler in Greenland. This is because the sun rays fall directly on the equator and at an angle on the poles. So remember always that the earth's climate ex is extremely complex and this is the beautiful picture of the sun's rays which are falling on earth. So students, places at higher latitude are not always colder than places at lower latitude because the sun's rays fall directly on the equator and at an angle on the poles. Similarly, wind and ocean currents also play a role in determining the climate of a place. So this is one such factor that depicts the climate of the place and this distance from the equator shortly termed as latitude. Now let us discuss about other factor. Yes, height above sea level and distance from the sea and mountains. 
Now students, have you ever gave a thought that why do people go to a hill station during summer season? It is because it is cooler in a hill station. The higher a place is, the cooler it is. Even the sea has a moderating influence on the climate of a place. Like the places near the coast such as Mumbai, Chennai and Kolkata are neither too hot nor too cold. And on the other hand, places far away from the sea tend to have extreme climates like very hot summers and very cold winters. Even mountains other than besides sea, mountains can change or even stop winds and it can also influence the rainfall in a place. So, it is all depending upon the factors which decides or which depicts the climate of a place. Now you might have learned about how the Himalayas affect the climate of the North India. It is all because of mountains. Then the places near the coast, it is all about, uh, it is all because of the effect of the sea which has moderating influence. Even in the, on the hill stations, we used, or we used to visit hill station during summer. Because higher a place is, the cooler it is. So it all depends upon these factors. And one of the factors is height above sea level and distance from the sea and mountains. So that was all about the climate of a place. Now, let us discuss about other interesting topic. Yes. Likewise, we discuss about climate of a place, we will discuss about weather of a place. So students, weather of a place is described by the temperature and humidity of that place. Like in climate of the place, it depends upon the factors such as distance from the equator, height above sea level, distance from the sea and mountains. But in weather of a place, it is described by such factors with temperature and humidity of that place. So now, let us discuss these factors which affects the weather of a place in detail. Yes, temperature. Students, the temperature on any day depends on the amount of sunlight received. It is generally cooler during the nights because there is no sunlight and it is warmer during the day because in the daytime and in the summer season the amount of sunlight received is more than in the night time. So it is generally cooler during the nights than in the daytime. And one of the main reasons for this is that during the day, the rays of the sun heat up the earth. So, always remember that temperatures at night may be many degrees higher in urban areas than in the rural areas because of the various factors such as pollution, higher density of people and houses, less number of trees, etc. in urban areas. In urban areas, there is more industrialization, there is more development of buildings, construction, there are more vehicles, two-wheeler, four-wheeler, three-wheeler and because of that there is much of pollution because of such factors like deforestation, cutting of trees for various purposes, for commercial uses, for building houses in urban areas makes a lot of difference in temperature. So remember that temperatures at night may be many degrees higher in urban areas than in rural areas because of all these factors. 
like deforestation that is cutting of trees because of that there is less number of trees available then high density or higher population construction of much buildings in urban areas and in rural areas and pollution in urban areas so these factors vary temperature in different areas so this is one such factor which depicts the weather of a place or which influence the weather of a place the se second factor is humidity humidity means amount of moisture in the air even the amount of water vapor moisture means particularly it is also termed as water vapor so the amount of water vapor present in the atmosphere determines humidity a drier place will have lower humidity while the places near the sea coast such as kolkata and mumbai generally have greater humidity than the places which are far away from the sea such as delhi and uttar pradesh so remember that humidity of a region is also usually higher in the rainy season than during summer and winter so as climate differs from place to place we can see how different animals adapt to these climates so in the next session we will learn about adaptations of animals which depend upon the changes in the climate or the weather of a place so students that was all about the climate of a place and weather of a place we'll meet in the next session till then keep learning keep enjoying thank you bye bye